Hello guys, in this video, we will be discussing about basic concepts of graph theory. Graph theory is one of the branches of mathematics and by its definition, graph theory is the study of graphs that concern with the relationship among edges and vertices. Now, vertices are set of points, or shall I say, the solid dots. The vertices are usually denoted by capital letters. So, assuming we have here A, B, C, D, and E. All the letters from the English alphabets can be used as the label for our vertices. Now this is vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, vertex D, and vertex E. All are points or solid dots. Edges are actually the line segments or the straight line or the curved line. Now, at this point, this is our first edge, second edge, third edge, fourth edge, and the fifth edge. So there will be five edges for this graph. So this is an example of a graph. It consists of vertices and edges. Now, assuming we are going to call this graph as graph G. Now, we specify graph G as the set of vertices denoted as V and the set of edges denoted as E. So this is the set of vertices, and we have here the set of edges. Now, from this example, we have five vertices. Okay, so we have here five vertices. And those vertices are A, B, C, D, and E. And we have also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 edges. So in enumerating our edges, we have here first we have AB. Okay, and followed by BC. Followed by CD. Continuation here. We can have AD. And the last one we have CE. Now, how many edges do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And these are one, two, three, four, five. Now, AB and BA are counted as one. So AB and BE are the same, so you can write AB or BA, it's up to you, but that is just counted once. Now, the elements of the edges here are 5, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and these elements can be shuffled. The same thing with our 5 vertices, we have A, B, C, D, E, and you can actually shuffle your vertices, meaning the arrangement is not important. Now, 
if you're going to write our vertices and edges into the specified notation for the graph G, then we are going to write that as V, which is set of vertices. So you are going to enumerate. So you have A, B, C, D, and E, comma, followed by the set of edges. So we have here A, B, we have here B, C, so just copying the five edges, followed by C, D, A, D, And then the last would be C. Now this is now our specified notation for our graph G. The set of vertices and the set of edges. Now the number of vertices here is 5 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We call this one as order. So we have here order which is equal to 5. And the cardinality or the number of elements from our edges is also 5, namely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We call this one as size. The number of edges is 5. Now, the degree, when you say degree, it's actually the number of edges incident to a particular vertex. So the degree of A is 2 because there are actually two edges incident to our vertex A. The degree of vertex B is 2 because there are two edges incident to B and the degree of vertex C is 3 because there are actually 3 edges incident to C. The degree of E is 1 because there is only one edge incident to vertex E. And the degree of vertex D is also 2. Now, we can actually write that into table. So, if you will try to make a table... So we have here vertex and we have here degree. Now how many vertices do we have? Five. So let us enumerate. We have vertex E, vertex A, B, C, D, and E. Now, degree is the number of edges incident to a particular vertex. So, for example, vertex A, there are two edges incident to vertex A. So, we write here two. For B, we have here two also. For C, we have one, two, three. So, you are going to write here three. For D, there are also two edges also incident to the vertex D and for E we have only one edge incident to the vertex E so right here one now there are cases that our edge or our vertex has a loop now what is a loop a loop by definition is actually a curve from a particular vertex to itself. So this is an example of 
a loop okay it's an edge from a particular vertex which is connected to a vertex itself so at this point if you are going to draw a loop okay this is an example of a loop then the degree of our vertex d is not 2 anymore but we have 4 so you can write here 4 now this graph is an example of a planar graph it's because there's no intersection of the edges so this is an example of a planar graph now if ever you have this graph which has an intersection of the edges so for example if we have here an edge that connects to D and we have here another edge that connects to C then this graph is what we called non planar graph now if you are going to find the degree the degree of A is now 3 the degree of B is now 3 the degree of C is now 4 and the degree of D is still 4 um, but this time we have another one added so we have here 5 but our degree for the vertex E is still 1 so this is an example of a non-planar graph because there is an intersection of the edges. Now assuming we have here um, this non-planar graph. This non-planar graph is also an example of a connected graph. But if you have another graph here on this side, And we call this graph having vertices of F, G, and H. This graph, this overall graph, is an example of a disconnected graph. Okay, this is now an example of a disconnected graph because the graph, this graph here, is not actually connected at all to the second graph. So this is an example of a disconnected graph. Thank you for watching.